friends, welcome to Connected. This is our first show of the last month of this year, 2018. I don't know about you, but this time of the year got me a little surprise. I feel like from August to December was a quick trip, way too quick. Whether you're planning to spend the Christmas holidays traveling or at home with your family or alone, I hope you get to enjoy some time off and that way prepare to welcome 2019. I will be guiding you through today's journey from Santa Cruz, Bolivia in South America. Remember that you don't only see us through the Abby Ayala channel, but also you can follow us through Facebook, Twitter and later when the show is finished on our channel on YouTube. the new month with music, rhythm and good vibes. Today we are going to travel to Brazil, specifically to Belo Horizonte. I'm especially happy because today we talk with Gabriela Miranda, a Brazilian DJ that specializes on playing Goa trance. The scene is very well known in the world, its roots began in India, hence the name Goa. But I want to emphasize two aspects. One, that Gabriela is a woman, and two, that she is a Brazilian, meaning from South America. So, magic, power, and skills are guaranteed. If we look to the biggest spectrum of the worldwide DJ scene, we clearly see that it's dominated by males. So yes, I like to encourage and to show the talent and power that women project from behind the turntable. Before we dive into Gabriela's stories, let's meet her. The elevation of feelings is what defines the sets that DJ Gan provides on her presentations. Gabriela Miranda is the name responsible for this. Born and raised in Belo Horizonte, Brazil, Gant got involved with trance music in mid-2018, where she identified herself with the movement, going through various Brazilian events in search of knowledge, until she became a DJ in 2015. Gant carries with her a record full of great songs from Goa Madness record label. She and her feminine touch always present her music with high quality and energy, so she can awaken magical feelings in the audience. Get ready to listen to striking sets that tell stories from beginning to end, clean mixes and intense sounds. DJ Gant has already performed at renowned Brazilian festivals such as Universo Paralelo, Samsara, Shiva Trans, Alakazam, among others. And in Latin America, she performed in Peru at Arcana Festival and in Bolivia at Prana and Flower Festival. It is my pleasure today to introduce Gabriela Miranda, aka DJ Gant. She's talking to us all the way from Brazil and I am more than happy to have her on the show. Gabriela, welcome to Connected and let's go ahead with the first question. Please tell us, how did you dabble on the path of music? Uh, hi Fabiana, nice to be here. Um, so let's go. When I was a kid, I always had a fall for music. Uh, I was raised in a family of musicians. My two grandfathers and two of my uncles are musicians. So when I was little, I learned to play some instruments like flute and guitar. And uh, I grew up listening to rock. Uh, as a teenager, I always treated music as my main hobby. I always liked bands, more adult songs, experiences and different from the reality of my school friends. <laughs> right. So it's something that you kind of like 
came from the wound, like your family, you just came with music around you. So, exactly. okay, so from rock and all of those, right, different influences, you end up going for electronic and moreover, go up, go up trance. So please tell us what is exactly go up trance? <laughs> Goa trance, it's a type of electronic music. It's a strange uh, trance subgenre. Okay, and Goa uh, comes from India, correct? Like it has its basis and its roots in India? Yes, yes. Born in, in a bit from India. And what made you specialize your work on this genre? Share an experience that you had that you said, okay, I'm doing this. What happened there? Uh, I meet the trans movement, listen to some Goa songs uh, that I had an old iPod, more or less in 2007, 2008. But I got real knowledge of the music in 2012 when I started attending electronic e music events frequently until I met my boyfriend who was a DJ and told me to mix after an experience I had on a track of Goa Trance in Bahia at a festival called Terra em Transe. It oh. was an explosion of feeling when I saw that track bowling and dancing so this was born my desire to be this jockey after this incredible experience right how long was this when, how long ago you had the revelation that you said okay i'm gonna do this 2014 december 2014 2014 so it's been four years that you are on the path of Goa Trans. Okay, so now yeah. tell us about your learning process. How did you develop and continue to develop your skills with the turntables? Mm. I learned and mix in, in CDJs, let's say in the most difficult way among begin and DJs. Uh, usually they learn using softwares and notebook. Uh -huh. <laughs> Since I already had years with musical notes and already played some instruments, uh, it was simpler, simpler the learning process. The technique is different, but the theory is the same. I see. And uh, did you... Um... Did you, you only learn with your boyfriend or you went to classes or you actually learn when you go to festivals? Where is the place where you actually get to, to practice more? And my boyfriend teach me, teach me in the house. I but see. when I travel from the festivals, I see some DJs mixing and I be attention see this. Right, right. So how do you see the great difference in quantity between men and women DJs in the world? Because I also go to a lot and several um, festivals and you visit different parts of the world. And like when you see sometimes there are festivals that you have a lineup of DJs and out of 20, 14 are, or 15 are men and five are female. So you can see that the difference, it's pretty, pretty obvious. So how do you feel about that? And this is a clear reality. There are more women in the world, but there are more men than women and <laughs> DJs. Correct. <laughs> uh, so it's something that changed over time. Today we have the Janice team that represent very well 
here in Brazil we have we have DJ Tata Altruism and that the story and the dance floor with the excellent excellent songs. Um, we have DJ Tachi uh, and Paula and Inegoa and Rosa Ventura, Anginha, Steffi and the Canta, among several others that perform their tasks with excellence. And my experience with all this is that it only stranger strangers me. The fact that its difference is, exists, it's something that makes us stronger and fir firmer in the walk. In most parties I play, lineup consisting of 99% of male DJs, but I never saw this is a problem. No, this is a not problem. Inequality of gender, in my opinion, is something that will always exist in uh, all prof professions. Uh, what makes me happy is knowing that the market for DJs has grown a lot with women open up. Right. Producing, producing, playing, making events. And today we have a few nuclear that make parties with um, all the family DJs and this is very cool. Right, it's a, like as long as we see it changing because obviously it's not a problem, but yeah. like it's something that is good to see grow. Uh, I love it uh, some parties when have many Woman DJs, I prefer. I'm feeling um, better <laughs> between women, and right. we're talking about blush and makeup <laughs> and many things. <laughs> right, I, I hear you. So it's always good to know that our sisters, women, are like growing up on this profession too. I love to celebrate it. Um, Gabby, tell us a little about the scene in Brazil. I know Brazil has grown up big time when it comes to this type of festivals and not only producing festival, festivals, but also giving birth to new producers and new musicians on, this, on the electronic scene. So please tell us, what happens over there? Um, the market in Brazil is very good uh, for everybody. Nowadays, we have a room for producers from all walks on the fire. This has been growing over the years. There are many more parties today than there are five or six years ago. For example, next weekend we will have 11 or 12 parties and all over the brazil two or at the same day yes yes next weekend oh <laughs> next weekend and um, two or three in only one state and for example wow. sao paulo have three parties and um, in one weekend uh, but right. have many public public so it's not only that, obviously, not only that the producers are growing, but also the people that attend. Like I, I hear and I see people like always traveling and moving around in order to get to go to these festivals and see the artists that most of the time are going from one party or one festival to another to be able to cope with all the work that it's, it's needed on this time. Yeah. But how is uh, Goa Trans in Brazil? Um, Goa Trans has improved a lot from about four years, four years ago. And there was the phase that did not place Goa in the events of any from. Today we already have one or two in each event. That's great. Right, because 
Basically what happens, you go to a party and um, there are different styles or festivals that there are different styles that are played in different times of the day and different times of the night, correct? Yes, correct. So what time is the time for Goa? What time is the time that you are ready to get on and to play your music? Here in Brazil, people inscribe a rule. Goa Trance has to be in the morning at dawn, but that only exists here. In Europe, Israel, and all the countries, this do is not exist. Goa Trance is played at any time, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the night, but I think Goa is cool to clean the sound waves, a very clear and pure sound, and serves to make this transition from the night to day. Right, and uh, I also wanted to, uh, to know, so let's say this weekend, you have to go to three different parties and you have to like prepare and you have to travel and you have to go to different locations. So tell us, how is that preparation and the, the doing it and to get into those places? Um, this weekend I will play in two different places. I'm going to leave the the, I'm going to leave the Belo Horizonte and travel four hours to get into in São Tomé das Letras and, tot, and play there and then travel another four hours to Rio de Janeiro. I play it and I travel another eight hours to go home. So. I need to sleep. I need to sleep and rest, eat well, uh, because I do this by I do this by driving and um, demand that uh, to be attention. Right. Yeah. And when you're playing, how long do your sets last? Um, my sets during for one hour to two hours. So we are gonna go to a fast cut. We're gonna come back with the last question for her and we're finally gonna see her doing what she does best. So don't go anywhere everyone, we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone, we are still connected with Gabriela Miranda who is talking to us all the way from Belo Horizonte, Brazil. She is a Goa DJ that plays, well, plays in Brazil and also goes to different uh, festivals and it's a part of this movement that is growing and growing every time and every <laughs> year. So Gabriela, tell us, on each presentation, what is it that you want to provide the audience? Any message that you want to get out there? I take music as a certain school subject. Let's say that a way to educate people. I respect all musical genres. The trance movement is an environment, environment totally different from the others. It is an environment where people are free, they indulge in dancing, uh, where people respect each other. Nowadays, the social media ended up taking, taking care of everything and exposing this reality a lot, what attracts different people with totally different talent. Uh, so, I see the need to show child music the importance of knowledge. The people who are the receiving the music, they are getting a different, a different experience, an experience that had talked so much at the time. Something peculiar, waiting it each one uh, unique teaching. So my intention is to show the context that music is behind, the story of the production. I choose my songs by the elaborate melody, coherence and harmonic 
Um, of course, the acid and psychedelia that it contains. I play that to waken in people period during. I like to see smiles and like to see satisfactory looks. And I like a momentary connection that will last forever in your memories. So the message, the message that I pass to music is this respect, no age and happiness. Awesome. And actually, that's really what you experience when you go to one of these festivals. It's, it's what actually marks music is behind everything, but what cr the environment, what the environment creates, it's really the most beautiful experience we can get. Um, Gabriela, I want to thank you for the work that you do. Gabriela, I'm going to give you a little space so you can say hello to the audience and also you can share your social media information. Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much, Fabiana, to stay here. Very good to be here. And mm -hmm. I'm very happy to share some experience that music has given, given me to the world around the world. And I want to leave here my social media for those who want to access an Instagram, Instagram fan page and SoundCloud. Right. It's DJ Gunch. D I'm gonna J have it all written on the screen. So we are gonna share that. Gabby, thank you so much for the time. I hope you had a great uh, experience, your coming gigs and you kill everybody with your uh -huh. music. I wish you all the best to you. Stay well. Until next time with me. Bye. I hope, I hope come back to Bolivia and one day. <laughs> Bye. You nice. will. Bye. Thank you. Big kiss. <laughs> Well, the time has come. We are going to see a video and finally see DJ Gun in action. I want to leave you with that, but before, remind you that if you have anybody that you would like to nominate in order to be on the show, I'll be glad to connect with them or with you. Write me to conectadosbolivia24 at gmail.com and I'm going to be happy to be able to communicate and to interview a new person and to talk about a new topic. Until next time with me, goodbye.